Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at one final detail about passing data between multiple JFrames in your Java projects. Uh, we already showed you in the previous videos how to accomplish this back and forth between multiple frames, but there's one little thing that was left out. I was just using variables like string or integer. Um, want to point out, of course you can send references to full objects. So you'll see here I have Bobby Bobby, I'll just pass it. I'm passing the information here, but I'm not passing it as two separate variables. I'm passing it as one object, which is a lot more organized and uh, a little bit easier on the eyes to read the code. So just take a look at the difference here compared to our previous examples. In frame A, what I've done is they've typed in their name and password, and I've tucked it all inside of one object called user. I've made a class called user here. It's going to hold all the information that I want to pass on to the other frame. Now, I know I've only got two pieces of information here, but expand your, uh, your mind here. You could have 20 variables, array lists, arrays, whatever you want, right? You can have tons of stuff in this object called user. And then all I do in A2 is I basically make a new user, and I've got the constructor set up so that the user takes in that information the users created and then I say hey FB which was that second frame I just made call your set user method and I pass it the user now another way I could have said this was I could have actually done this shorthand and just said hey FB set user new user name comma password just in case some people are wondering why I always do it in two lines that's just a beginner thing. Uh, normally, you'd probably just do it like this, right? Save some time. What does that second frame B2 receive? Well, B2, it has a variable now called user. So instead of having a string variable for name, a string variable for password, a variable for age, ID, all that stuff, I've just wrapped it all up inside this one object that holds the data nicely. And then I have my set user method. So remember, frame A just calls set user with the user object frame B takes that user in and then sets its user variable right its user variable now gets set to whatever user variable was just passed in and then you can access the name the password etc etc anything else you want this is a little more organized and fits the idea of object coding a little bit better right if you have data that's related tuck it inside of an object pass one object in very nice neat tidy controlled thanks for watching and that's probably it for the multiple frames project videos